Okay, hey everybody, this is Grace. I'm in my SUV. Here it is October, October 12th, 2022. And I got my SUV. I want to go buy some groceries. And I know it's not the best of time to, to go. Right now it says it's 2.55 p.m. Yeah, 2.55 p.m. And, uh, you know, it's the heat of the day and all that. Well, it's October 12th. And... I had seen online before I left that it said it was today, today's high is going to be 90 or 91, something like that. I said, man, wow, the rest of the week, even a high, there's a high, I think, in the 60s or something. So what's today? What's going on today? You know, this kind of thing. <laughs> really? And uh, I'm going to have to do this. There's a leaf bothering me right there. But, um. Uh, so anyway, I get out and it's like, oh man, this is hot. This is like really, really hot. And I look down and my, uh, I'm already driving here now when I do this. And I look down and I see that it says it's 96 degrees. My SUV temperature says it's 96 degrees out there. Now it says 95. But really? Wow. You know, we had the, here in north central Texas, north of Dallas. Um, you remember the Dallas, the, uh. South Fork Ranch is just right over there <laughs> to my left, I think. Yeah, not too far down the road. So, uh, yeah, yeah, this area, and it's hot. Man, I'm Texan. I'm used to the heat, but for this time of year, I'm still used to the heat, but for this time of year, it really shouldn't be this bad. Okay, but anyway, I'm going to go to this grocery store. I'm, I'm basically going from different, you know, going to different grocery stores around here again. And uh, I knew this. We had our delivery, our groceries delivered for most of 2020 and 2021. And somewhat this year, 2022, at first. And uh, I'm just going out now to see. Some things have changed. Some, one store I hadn't been to in several years. I don't know how many years. <laughs> few to several. And uh, just seeing how things had changed and then now, you know, I did that for a little while, and now I'm like, there's certain things I want at certain places, you know, certain stores, just as it was when they were delivered, but I didn't have that many things delivered from too many stores. But anyway, on my trip here, uh, that's a lot of background, but I wanted to talk more. I did a video earlier today about one thing that was kind of weird, and here's another one. Uh, but really, I want to go out and not... And kind of like see if I can force myself to not notice the bad stuff <laughs> at my age, yeah. And plus, I'm a social and behavioral scientist. My master's degree is in sociology. Okay, I am trained to notice the bad stuff that happens. Okay, bad and good. But uh, we're indifferent. However, I'm trained to notice. I'm trained to observe. And sometimes be a participant, observer, or just an observer. And I see what happens you know, this is this is becomes especially at this age 59 uh, is this con I'm conditioned to be this way and like th little things I want to try for everything little things to big things like usually when I travel this road I don't know any road lately lately it's been I I'm guessing some people were joking about during 2020 and 2021 people are having the people who were actually out on the road many of them these were jokes people were saying, talking about, you know, that they they made a new way of driving and, and how people are supposed to drive, and they're not going to allow the rest of us who didn't go out much to change it. It's going to be like, you know, Wild Wild West kind of thing. And uh, I believe it, and so to some, not to that extent. It's it was a joke, but a lot of people were saying it wasn't so much of a joke. It really did happen quite a bit. Yeah, and I see that. Okay, like before 2020, I'm leaving out some words. Before 2020, I had I had complained about you know some things going on, but it seems like it's worse. <laughs> it's a lot worse, especially tailgating. Okay, I guess you know people thinking, oh, you're going the speed limit. Let's say like the speed limit is 35, and you actually have the nerve to go 35. Shame on you. You're supposed to know. You know, in their mind. 
You're supposed to go much faster. No, you're not. They're not paying my ticket. Okay, there was a school speed zone came up. Uh, anyway, I'm not one to just go out and break rules anyway. That's stupid to me. And, uh, you know, there's, these are rules, laws, all that stuff. Speed limits, they're not just suggestions. They're for real. And, uh, and that could depend on where you live, huh? But, or what kind. But no, they're, they're, this is what you drive. You don't go speeding around this or speeding, you know. This, and that's the thing. It seems like it was about speeding. Everybody wants to speed. Hurry up and get there fast. For what? You want to endanger people's lives? Especially, I noticed, in neighborhoods where there are kids. It doesn't matter if they know that there are kids there. Neighborhoods have kids or grandkids. They're people. They're humans. They're dogs. They're, you know, fur babies. People's fur babies. Whatever. They're there. And it's not for a place for you to decide that you're going to drive 55. No. But I've seen that too much lately. I'm like, wow. How can, you know, people have gone into this, not everybody, of course, no, this is everybody, you know, but how could some people get it in their mind, they're going to go through speeding through a place where there are kids, in a, in a neighborhood, and all that that I mentioned, where do they get off to this, you know, and so I wanted to see if I could go there and not see all this, and then not, and then go into the store and not see not see. People reached their hand out in front of my face. I just walked up to somewhere. And they reached their hand out in front of my face to get something. You know, rudeness. I want to see where, I don't want to see the rudeness. Can I actually turn that off in my brain where I'm not going to see people, you know, not going to notice it. You know, some, you know, I could say that it doesn't affect me. See, if I'm noticing it, it's, it's affecting me. <laughs> if I'm going to try to you know, and I'm, I'm well aware of all this is it's doomed to fail, <laughs> really, because if I'm having to, to force myself to do something, you know, and then that, that's a stress, that's a different stress for me, I would think, if I'm not talking about anybody else, I'm talking about for me, You're having to go into denial and say, okay, I'm not seeing that, I'm not seeing people, you know, get on, like yesterday, saw this guy in big, big new, it was a new bubble truck, but it was new, it's a big one, and there was a woman in the turn lane, and she had pulled up a bit, thinking, you know, it was, it was yellow flashing, thinking that she could get around and go, you know, to the left, and he was right on her tail, and from what I could see, it was a woman with young kids, in a little bitty older car, okay, and she, and that, that guy, big old bubble truck, new one, but pushing on her, it doesn't matter if it's new or old, pushing on her to try to get her to move and to go more, and she had realized she had to back up because she was too far out there, and he wasn't going to let her, he was going to keep pushing her, keep pushing, you know, getting so close to her, that, I mean, kids, okay, there are kids in that car, those people are so heartless, but like I said, it's probably doomed to fail. <laughs> that I won't see it because why I'm saying this is because lately my blood pressure while during 2020 and 2021 I was mainly at home okay, mainly at home not going out not being in all the craziness out there you know and I'm serious when I say pretty much every time I went anywhere before then something was going to happen to either me or somebody I, like yesterday like I said about seeing that that car full of kids and this, this is not the road that you go down this direction on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and you don't run over the curb. But I go this direction. They weren't supposed to. Or maybe so. It does look like that. Not that I remember that. Anyway, this is that that's pulled up a little bit too far there. But, um... I mean, I'm going to see it. I, if, if it happens, I'm going to see it. But I want to kind of not see it. <laughs> Just a little while. Just so I can, you know, my blood pressure can get back to what it was during 2020, 2021 when I wasn't going out. I'm serious on that. I'm very serious. My blood pressure during 2020 and 2021 was so good. And I remember making remarks about it. It was like, wow. <laughs> you know, see what happens when I don't have to go out and do things and 
I, I haven't been to, I think, buy groceries in over a week. It might seem like the way I did put my videos, but I think I went and got a little bit of stuff at, really not grocery shopping, it was at a Dollar Tree. And, uh, but there are things I have to get at the grocery store. But I would rather not. I used to love going shopping. I used to love it, love it, love it. But not really like that. I shouldn't put it that way. I enjoyed it. It wasn't a big thing. It was something to do to get out of the house. That's more like it. It wasn't like I loved shopping. I don't know why I put it that way. But anyway. But after 2021, this year, starting this year, 2020, it's like, oof, wee, oof. What am I going to see next? Hopefully, I'll get in there and get out, and it won't be bad. Okay, oh, it's a little bit loud. This is 93 degrees now. It's 4.17 p.m., not a.m. <laughs> but, uh, did I notice things? You betcha. Like, once again, I mentioned this recently. Once again, a uh, man came, I'm standing in line, and different man, um, they come... I don't know why people don't understand. Don't do this. If somebody stand in line, you're the cashier, and uh, they have to move up or move back, whatever, and their purse is sitting there, you know, they're just for a split second. Don't come running up to it. You know, don't do that. You know, yeah, you're running up to get in line, but just don't come running up to somebody's purse before they have a time, you know, chance. I mean, they might be standing right there like I was, and uh, about to get my purse. I was actually trying to open it to uh, attach my purse to that belt, by the handles to the belt that's in the seat, you know, where people put their kids. I learned that years ago. And, uh, and this guy come running up real quick to stand right behind it. And I'm like, that's stupid. <laughs> what do you think? What, what are you thinking? And somebody's standing right there, you can run up to them. To them or to their purse or to their whatever you know they could have had a kid there they they had their kid in that seat whatever it is you don't run up so fast you got to get in line that fast to run up and I don't care if it's male female whatever I don't care you just don't do that what is it with people <laughs> you see something like that I'm gonna notice I'm gonna notice it pretty much a lot because yeah this is how I am okay and another thing was when I got out, as I was at the cashier, the cash register, at the cashier, what do you, what do you say? Anyway, <laughs> my, there was a, it was either the woman or the sack, the cashier, the sacker, had on somebody there, somebody in that area right there, had on a whole lot of perfume, cologne. It, it kind of smelled unisex, I don't know, either way. And, uh. It was way too strong. Come on, people. Come on. Ugh. Okay, anyway, it was too strong. And I have chemical allergies. And it, as I was walking out, this happens to me. Every blue moon, but it, it's like pieces of sand or salt in my, on my face, in my skin. And whenever somebody does that, it, it is awful feeling. And, uh... Luckily, I have these little, um, I don't know what you call them, these huggies, natural hair. I use it because I'm, I can't use the alcohol, you know, for those uh, alcohol wipes for my hands because I'm allergic to alcohol. <laughs> so, yeah, they kind of alcohol. So I have these instead to use them for my hands. And, you know, when I go in and out of the store or whatever, I use one for my face because, oh my goodness, it was like, oof. I don't know why some people wear so much perfume. I was in one other store there recently, a different chain. And um, in two aisles, there were two different women wearing a lot of perfume. And then they worked there. It was like, what, did y'all have a competition on who could put on the most and sell, smell the strongest? <laughs> it was very strong. But see, these are things that I notice. And part of them, like this, is because I have allergies. And I know I'm not the only person on the planet who has chemical allergies. And to wear some perfume so strong, really, man, think about others. It's not all about you. It really isn't. So, but I'm going to notice these things. So, trying not to, trying to not, you know, just, just to not see it. It's like, you know, impossible.
possible for me. And, uh, and I'm going to point it out. I'm a sociologist. Now, there are bigger things I could be pointing out, you betcha, but right now nothing bigger happened. But when it does, I do. I do point it out. And there was something else I noticed. That I don't think 4.23 p.m. when it's 95 degrees is what my SUV is saying right now. I don't think that's a good day to go jogging. <laughs> good time, good day to go jogging. Yeah, did you say woman jogging? Maybe I'll have to put a, a visual effect on this. I don't know. But I just don't think so. I'm not a jogger, though, so I don't know. She looks really red in the face, like she was burning up too. All around, well, it is 95 degrees at 4:24 p.m. So, some people could say, "Well, you shouldn't go buy groceries because people are going to to wear perfume." <laughs> Believe me, I'm aware. I'm well. Okay, they had a little mess there. People, and they stopped to let the school buses there's not a school zone there the school zone is actually way far behind there it's weird and plus it's past it's 4 30 p.m but they they stopping at all these buses can you imagine being a, a kid in school and your bus isn't picking you up until 4 30. i think there were one grade i was in that happened but i mean on a regular basis every day we were like the second one that the bus had to come back around and get you know second load I think that's what we called it, second load or something. But anyway, you know, people were stopping and letting all the buses out. That's not, there's no stop sign, there's no we have to there. They were just letting all the buses go. You know, people were just stopped. Well, somebody behind me, I don't know if it was behind the person next to me or, or what, but the, finally the bus almost, it was almost all the buses and uh, somebody behind us honked. And uh, then I got past there, and you know the buses were on the road, and they went either direction, both directions. Um, and they're on the road, and they're, they're long line. And you know how traffic crosses? There's no light there, but traffic that crosses. Well, you, you don't. From what I remember, I don't know if it's changed recently, but you don't um, block off to where people can turn into those or come out of those for emergency reasons. You know, and the, the woman behind me, you know, I had to wait for it because there was a bus in front of me, so I had to wait behind so I don't cover them up, you know, for people turning or coming out. And the, but the woman behind me, no, she was going to do it. She was going to, she didn't hear, <laughs> maybe she just didn't know, but she may have been the one who honked. I don't think it was the same one that was behind me back there, but I noticed these things. You know, why do, I mean, I can assume that she know, would know she was a young woman and it's been newer to her that she studied this stuff than I could see that be wasp. But anyway, it's more recent for her to have studied it. But you know, like people coming out from either direction, when you're stopped, last time I remember, you don't cover it up. Especially, like I said, because there could be emergency vehicles have to get through like that. And here everybody is clogging it up to where they can't. You know. Anyway, she was younger than I. A lot younger. She was young enough to be my own. I'm old enough to be her mother. Maybe her grandmother. Even. <laughs> you know. But no, you don't do that. But I notice these things. So, anyway. I'm going to wrap it up. Talk to you on another video. Bye.